In this brief demonstration, we'll show how StreamSet's Control Hub can be quickly used to build adaptable data flow pipelines for moving data between diverse data sources and applications. Let's start by first logging into StreamSet's Control Hub. Control Hub gives users a single pane of glass to build, deploy, and operate data flows. To get started, we'll take a look at a pipeline. Pipelines are the logic which determines how to move data from an origin to a destination. Here we have a pipeline which migrates data from a financial forecasting application through to a data lake using HDFS and Hive. Using a database origin, we can easily connect to the financial application. Unlike many other integration products, which might require a different pipeline for each table, or wiring every column in place, StreamSets uses an intent-driven design. This means you only need to specify information required to accomplish the task. The result is much faster development, fewer moving parts, and built-in resilience to change. In this simple pipeline, we are pulling every field from every table in the financial database and are able to quickly move that to the data lake. If new tables or columns are added, this pipeline will pick those up seamlessly and process them. As a next step, let's configure the connection in Hive and specify how the data should be landed. With StreamSets, the various stages and transformations are able to decorate data with metadata on the fly. This gives incredible flexibility for processing. In this case, the database origin attaches information to each record for the table it originated from. We can use this in the Hive table as a dynamic expression to automatically write to the same table on the data lake. Now let's add Azure as a destination for this data as well. By going into edit mode, we now have a new version draft. We can quickly add an Azure destination. With a quick search, we find the destination processor and drop it onto the palette. Now we'll quickly link it to the origin and then provide basic connection information for Azure. We can again use formulas and metadata to specify dynamic output paths, such as writing each table's data to a different folder on Azure. Now let's choose our format. In this case, let's write simple CSV files. Once it's ready, we can preview data, which also inherently validates that the pipeline and connectivity are functional. StreamSets users leverage this helpful functionality to accelerate pipeline development. By previewing pipelines, they can spot errors or misconfigurations before they push a pipeline into production. Here we can see several rows of data coming from the origin and can see more of the metadata which is automatically decorated on the record. In this case, we can see that this record is from the deliveries table, which will drive where it gets written in both the lake and Azure. Let's publish a new version of the pipeline, noting that we added Azure as a destination. With the pipeline ready, let's move over to execution. This is accomplished through a job, which binds the pipeline with runtime parameters. While this use case is a single job for the pipeline, you can define multiple jobs against the same pipeline, providing different configurable parameters for each. Let's start at the job, and we will start to see data moving. In this view, we have a graph which shows the relative flow of data through the process, including record counts and throughput rates. In this brief demonstration, we showed how StreamSets enables the rapid development of resilient pipelines, compared to the many hours or days it would take to build them in a hand-coded world. We also showed how intent-oriented design allows a pipeline to be very flexible and quick to build by requiring only minimal configuration to function. And finally, we showed how StreamSets simplifies pipeline testing and validation with quick and easy data previews. Contact StreamSets today to schedule a more detailed demo, or to learn more, visit us online at streamsets.com.